Hey, what's up, guys? It's Silver here. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you guys for joining me once again on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about unlock tools. These have been literally starting Twitter beefs and Twitter rants because people are getting banned for using them. People are debating on if it's cheating or not. We're going to put that all the rest today, okay? But before we do that, if you guys haven't yet, drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. We post daily Call of Duty videos from gameplay videos, commentaries, and all that stuff. But let's get right into the nitty gritty. The first thing I want to talk about, why people who got banned and or used unlock tools should not be complaining and or asking for an unban at all. You guys are complete idiots, okay? Because what I'm about to say gives you no reasons to complain or ask for an unban and clearly shows that you're an idiot. The first reason why you guys should not be complaining and or asking for an unban is because you guys literally unlocked and gained access to bundles, which is downloadable content and unlockable content for literally no grind. You guys didn't work for it. You guys didn't achieve it. You guys didn't earn it. It's the first reason why you guys should not be complaining and or asking for an unban. You guys literally morally are doing some fucked up shit, okay? You guys are unlocking these things unfairly and unjustly, man. Secondly, the people who unlocked tool and got banned and are saying that they never used it, you're completely wrong. It was a whole ban wave. Activision locked in for once, Ricochet locked in for once, and then caught your ass. You should not be complaining at all because you knew what you were doing when you searched up for a Call of Duty unlock tool, when you bought a unlock tool and you used it in game. For the final reason why unlock tool users who got banned or who are complaining about the game, the reasons why you guys should not be doing any of that and why you're a complete idiot is because when you bought and played Call of Duty, you guys signed away your rights to Activision that you guys wouldn't break their terms of use, their security and enforcement policy, and their software terms of use and software license and service agreement. And this reason ties into my next main point. Unlock tools are against Activision's terms of use and your agreement with them. And I'm going to simplify it for any unlock tool using bitch that can't understand a damn thing. When you bought and played Call of Duty, you sign away your rights and you agree that you guys won't break your agreement and Activision's terms of use at all and their policies that you wouldn't break any of that. But with an unlock tool, you did. Because unlock tools are clearly stated within the Call of Duty security and enforcement policy, which is also something you signed away on in the terms of use in the software license and service agreement. You signed that you wouldn't break the security and enforcement policy. If you search up Activision Call of Duty security and enforcement policy and scroll down all the way to improperly obtain downloadable slash unlockable content, that is is what Activision defies an unlock tool. You improperly obtaining downloadable content, which is the bundles and the things that have a paywall to them, and unlockable content, which is like the event and mastery camos, the skins, all that stuff that you can unlock through campaign and just play multiplayer and the battle pass. You guys improperly obtain that content. And if you're on the website and you see the first offense and what happens if you get hit with that first offense, it says users may be temporarily suspended from using the inventory system and a full full inventory reset may be issued and you're like wait why did i not get the first offense i should have been temporarily suspended well because unlock tools and improperly obtaining downloadable and unlockable content is also against the second thing in the security and enforcement policy it's actually against multiple things the use of unauthorized software for cheating modding and hacking and within the terms of use and the software license and service agreement, which I have linked down below, you guys said you guys would not be buying and using third-party software that isn't licensed and you're made by Activision. And the best thing about all of this that beats out the unlock tools being banned and complaining online and or them literally signing away their rights without even knowing and not knowing Activision's terms of use and the policies and agreements that they signed when they bought and played the game. The best thing about this that could come out of it, which won't really happen, is that Activision sues anyone that broke their agreement. When you sign Activision's terms of use and their policies on stuff, able to get sued legally on a portion of the terms of use or something that you agree with when you buy the game, you sign that you could be legally sued by Activision for breaking any of their policies. It's most likely not going to happen, but I would be so grateful to see unlock tool users get sued by Activision, be financially fucked for life, and not be able to recover from it. I'd, I'd love to see that. I'd rather see that more than Tony Ferguson coming back in his prime. But the next thing I want to talk about is how unlock tools have worked in the past with past Call of Duties. 
So I've been playing Call of Duty for 15 years, since Modern Warfare 2, 2009. I was only four years old. Shout out to Rico and Kyle for hopping me on the gaming wave. But after those past Call of Duties were out of their life cycle, they stopped getting support. Unlock tools gave you the ability to unlock things, of course, but gave you the ability to implement hacks and developer tools into the game. And they might not have it now. You know, some unlock tools might not have it at all. But for Activision, the reason why it's against their terms of service, their terms of use, whatever the fuck you want to call it, the reason why it's against it is because there's a possibility, a high possibility, these unlock tool services and the software that they use for unlock tools, you can implement hacks into them and you could just start rage hacking in Call of Duty. That's what happened in past Call of Duty. For BO2 especially, that was heavily infested with hackers because of unlock tools because of mod menus and all that stuff because it's so easy to code in dev tools hacks and all that stuff into these older call of duties after they stop getting support no matter if you only just unlock things and you didn't get any hacks and, and stuff from unlock tools the fact that there is a possibility to get hacks and to update the unlock tool software to get hacks is absolutely insane and that's a huge reason why you guys are getting banned most likely and for the second to the last thing i'm going to be talking about is how unlock tool users are ruining the game for others man you guys are taking away the fun out of the grind you guys are taking away the grind completely away you're literally showing people like hey you guys could have done this if you guys spent money into this right and you guys are taking people's enjoyment and love for the game completely out you're just draining it all out by unlocking things improperly and just simply paying for them when there's a grind when you have to earn it. You guys are taking all the fun out. You guys are literally making Call of Duty worse. You guys are the problem too. Why a lot of people don't like Call of Duty nowadays. And the last thing I want to talk about in this video. Is how easy it is to find and buy unlock tools for Call of Duty. And for any game. All you have to do to find and buy an unlock tool is search up. Go to Safari. Go to Google. Whatever your browsing source is. All you have to do is search up Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Unlock Tool or Modern Warfare 3 Unlock Tool, Call of Duty Warzone Unlock Tool, Warzone Unlock Tool. That's all you have to search up. And there will be a plethora of videos, websites, services that you could buy. And on average, these services cost over $100. I saw an unlock tool service when I was doing my research for this video. I saw a service that was $200 that was undetectable by Ricochet and Activision. That is how easy it is to find and buy unlock tools and potentially get cheats and unfairly unlock stuff. It's absolutely ridiculous that Activision won't do a thing because if I'm Activision, I would start hardware banning and IP banning anyone who bought an unlock tool and or went and gets the security enforcement policy and or the terms of use. Listen, if you unlock tool, you're an absolute loser, but more importantly, you're an idiot because most of these unlock tools cost more than the game. They cost over $20 more than Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and probably $100 more, especially if you only play Warzone. You guys are an absolute idiots for investing more money into a tool and service that has the possibility of you getting banned. I'd rather only pay for the game and then have to grind the camos out with my time than paying for the game and buying a $100 unlock tool and then having a 50-50% chance of getting banned. I hate unlock tool users. If you unlock tool, man, get out of here, bro. Especially if you play the game 24-7. If you're on it for more than three hours a day and you play every day, get out of here, man. There's no excuse. Drop a like, subscribe. It's been your boy Limbo. Peace.